guys, it's me again. <laughs> I always say that. I told you I was going to be in your face all the time. I don't want too much time to go by without me I'm jumping on here and saying something to you. Um, anyway, I just want to say that, you know, um, with everything that has been going on, moving and working and doing everything, my diet has suffered tremendously. Um, it's been really horrible. I have not, um, been sticking to my keto because, you know, while I was moving, everything was packed up and it took me longer to move than, um, expected. So everything was packed up. So I had to, um, I couldn't cook. I had to just run out and grab quick stuff and, um, just eating horrible. As a result, I did gain a few pounds and some definitely some inches. And also I've noticed my skin has suffered. Oh my God. So much of um, what's going on with your body is um, a big part of what you put in your body. Um, some of you probably already know that, but, and I already knew that. But um, it's really showing up. Like, my face is doing something so weird. Like, I have blotches and pimples and spots and stuff. And I've started a new um, skincare regimen to kind of get rid of some of this stuff. Like, I, I didn't have all this stuff before. I don't, I don't know what's going on with my skin. But uh, starting this week, I'm back on... Um, I'm back on my healthy eating, back on my keto, which is, again, um, I do low carb. I try to keep my carb count below 20 grams a day. Sometimes I go over. I do a moderate amount of um, protein and high fat. In other words, I've eliminated all bread. I've eliminated potatoes, rice, um, pasta. I don't do pasta. And I just, I don't count calories because with the keto, calories really doesn't matter. It's uh, your carb count. So I look on the back of um, labels to see what the carb count is in something I'm eating. But I really don't even have to do that because um, I try to cook all my meals. I, I stay away from um, processed things. If I'm cooking, I cook like um, meats and um, vegetables. Um, I don't really have sides, but um, when I do, it's uh, keto friendly. Like I love, love, love bird's eye, um, sour cream and chives, mashed cauliflower. I'm going to get the package for you and show you. Hold on just a second. Okay, these are the bomb. Oh my God, they're the bomb. Now they have different flavors, but the sour cream and chives one is, oh my God, it's my favorite. Now I've tried the green giant ones. The green giant ones have a watery consistency. Um, they're good, but not as good as these. These are thick, just like they look on here. If you follow the directions, um, just pop them in the microwave. Um, they come out just like on this picture. Oh my God, they are the bomb. And I'll have this with some baked chicken or some, some steak or you can have it pretty much with anything. Um, but I love these. And the carb count on here is eight grams of carbs. Let me see if you can see it. Total carbs eight grams um and actually actually um with with counting your carbs and stuff with keto if you really want to get technical it's only five grams of carbs net carbs because you take this you take this eight grams of carbs and you subtract this three grams of fiber, um, and which gives you five net carbs. Now, some people do the net carb thing, 
and some people just go by uh, just the total carbs. I really, I just go with the total carbs because I'm not going to be standing in the store or, you know, doing math, trying to figure out what the net carbs is. I go by total carbs. So if it says eight carbs, that's what I'm going by. So say a meal, um, this is eight carbs, and say I have a, a piece of chicken. Say the chicken is um, two carbs. So that's 10 carbs in one meal. So then I'm only allowed 10 more carbs for the rest of the day, which will give me my 20 grams of carbs. Um, but most of the time I eat salads. Um, if I don't eat breakfast a whole lot because I work overnight, so if I ate breakfast, breakfast was, would actually be my dinner because it would be the time I'm coming home. Um, but if I do, I just eat um, a few slices of bacon or um, breakfast sausage and some eggs. And I love um, spinach and my, fresh spinach and my eggs and cheese. Um, so that would be breakfast. For lunch, I probably wouldn't even eat lunch. I love um, pepperoni slices um, and string cheese sticks. So I would probably just eat that and I would get full, maybe a handful of um, nuts. And then for dinner, like I said, the uh, mashed cauliflower and um, some kind of meat, either steak or chicken. Um, I am, I do eat pork, but I'm going to stop pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, I would normally have maybe a pork chop or something like that, but I'm going to stop that soon. So it's only going to be chicken and beef. And, oh, and I love fish. I, I have um, salmon or um, tilapia or something like that. But anyway, <laughs> I've gone all the way off the, uh, the rails. Um, but anyway, I was saying all of that to say, because I've been eating so horribly, my skin is suffering. I've gained a few pounds and inches. I haven't been to the gym because I just had a lot going on. And plus, you know, I was in pain. So now it's time for me to get back on the grind. I am officially back and I will be losing those pounds I've gained plus some because uh, I am in this to win it. This is not just a diet for me. This is a lifestyle change. This is the way I will be eating for the rest of my life. So, um, and then I've even gotten to the point where I don't even count carbs. I don't do any of that anymore, really, because I know what to eat now. I know what to eat to uh, continue to lose. I know what to eat to maintain what I've lost. So you'll, you, you'll get to a point where you don't even have to do all that anymore. So that's where I was before I stopped. But then I'm going back to that. So <laughs> um, that is it. Oh, let me show you what I've done different. Um, remember that my little dining room area where I just had the dining room table and the two plates sitting on it? Let me show you what I've done different. I went to my storage and I got out a few more things. Um, let me show you. So, here is the dining room set now. Can you see it? Wait a minute. I don't know if you can see that good, but um, yeah, that is it. I've added my little Buddha. I've added um, a plant, a fake plant. Um, and then also I took my bookshelf out of storage and I added, um, no, excuse my purse over there on my door, but I've added my plant to that, some books, a picture, 
my selenite um, crystal and yeah so that's what I've done different um, that's the only thing I've done different in the place the water cooler is still over there still chilling but it's gonna be gone soon so that's it hope you guys enjoyed this short short video I just wanted to talk to you about um my diet and since I'm talking to you about it that's keeping me accountable and keeping me on track because I don't want to say that I'm doing 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 this and doing that and then you guys see my face getting chunky and <laughs> and I'm not sticking to it so you guys are keeping me going that's it see you guys in the next video love you God bless. Bye.